Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit of a flashback. I think it's finally time to talk about the time the tree fell on my car. I've never posted or even gone over any of the footage that you're going to see in this video, but I filmed a lot of the accident that day and we're about to see it. So there's a little bit of backstory. When I moved from New Jersey, I was having trouble finding a place because everyone wanted to meet me in person. I finally got lucky living in a guest house behind a really nice family in Tarzana, but I was renting a guest house, so I only had street parking. Now the funny part is, I was actually over at my friend's house the night before with my car in her garage, front bumper off, we were actually installing some X looms. So we were doing some rewiring. She offered to let me keep the car there overnight, but for some reason I was like, nope, let's put the front bumper back on and I'll drive it home. And of course I parked it on the street in a specific spot that I never park it. So I wake up to a phone call the next morning from my landlord telling me that a tree fell over last night and it landed on my car. Here is the footage from that day. So I figured I'd try to film this a little bit so you guys can get a better look as to the chaos that went down uh, yesterday morning. And uh, so this happened yesterday morning around 5 a.m. Uh, we had a lot of rain here in Los Angeles and I was sleeping, woke up to a phone call from my landlord. But you can see they've trimmed the tree already so that people can go by. Um, since yesterday wasn't a business day, they wouldn't send anybody out, so my car is still sitting under this tree as of, I guess it's like 11.30 right now, I am. On Monday. So let's go closer. So, this massive thing. Luckily, the biggest part of the tree fell directly behind my car. But you can tell these branches are just absolutely massive and did a lot of really bad damage to the roof and the trunk. See if we can get a little closer. We had really bad rain here last night, so. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, interior probably got soaked, but I tried to come out here and put at least something over the back glass and over the sunroof so that it could stop some of the rain. Uh, can't really see now. The tree seems to be settling more. But sunroof is shattered. Back windshield is shattered. Um, crazy dents on my roof. Nice V-dent. Uh, back right quarter panel is completely crushed on the car. The car is sitting pretty much on the ground. <laughs> um, I know everybody wanted me to lower it more. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> so yeah, I guess that's about it for now. Um, I'm gonna wait until they tow it and try to assess more damage.
So of course they did end up totaling my car out because of the frame and the roof damage. And it ended up getting water damage too because the car sat there outside for three days while LA County cleaned up the rest of the trees. I guess that were reported in that order. Let's be honest, I bawled my eyes out upon first sight of seeing my car under that tree. This car held so much sentimental value to me. It was a first model year scat pack. It was a car that I'd built and waited two months to get. And this car took me across the country to my dreams. I genuinely look at things in life as happening for a reason. Because sadly, if that tree never fell, I definitely wouldn't have a Hellcat right now. I was planning on keeping that car for years. I just, I loved that car. But bad things happen and you have to learn to move on and grow from them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and didn't shed too many tears. If you'd like to keep supporting me, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Does anyone else get this lucky to have this little angel helping tape with them?